Hi guys, hope all of you are doing well. Welcome back to Everyday People by Lydia. This week, as you can see, I am channeling my inner crash. You know I normally don't rant. I really, really don't rant. I'm going try and be informative. This is informative and a rant. Informative rant? Yeah, let's call it that. An informative rant, guys. So, this week, I decided to give you guys five important things, mainly for girls, guys, Probably more for the guys because y'all need some help, man. It's a big mess up in this grind. So I'm clearly teaching you guys five ways how not to get a lady. So things you should really, really, really not be doing. So number one, I call her in the middle of the street. Like, don't drive up to her. Be like, yo, get into my car. Can you, can I give you? I can get to my. She don't know you, though. Like, let's actually be real. I know, like, this happens in like videos and jigger uh, music videos and really because it should not be happening in real life you don't we don't know who you are have a really bees in your car though like we don't know you like you could be anybody you could kidnap or something like and when somebody leaves their house believe that they know how to get home because she's walking shall we just walk from the bus station the house around the corner like she don't need your ride so don't want up to her to jump in your car because she have a reasonable looking car does not mean she's going to jump in your car and why do people get offended when she doesn't jump in your car like this is crazy, like no, 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 like, don't, don't do it. Like I've never seen people do this walk for, this is crazy. And to be honest, it's a bit scary. Don't know you, don't do that. Number two, so this happened to me. Don't be rolling up in your car because you have a cool ride and you have your friend in your car. Roll up in your car and you scream from the other part of the road, yo mama, what's up, can I have your number? Like, even if this was going to work, like, let's be real, even if it was going to work, do you really expect her from the other across the road be like, yo, 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 wait, my number is 07, really, really, come on, like, that's just bad, like, it's really awful, so I don't know why people be like, oh, I didn't get her, I'm like, you didn't get her because you're across the other street, she don't know you, you screamed at her from the car, what do you want her to do, like, stop. Do not do that. That doesn't work for anybody. Don't do it. Number three. Don't go and ask her why she's breaking out or why she looks stressed. Like, she's probably stressed because she has a lot of work to do or whatever she's doing. Watching you, didn't, tell you, didn't your mama teach you this? Like, if you ain't got nothing good to say, say nothing. Don't, don't, don't talk. Like, why be like, oh, you look stressed? And, and she's like, well, oh my, wow, thank you for the information. Oh, you're breaking out, like, <laughs> oh, she, I'm sure she did not notice she was breaking out, like, wow, thank you for the information. First of all, you don't even know her like that, like, what you mean? And she probably already feels insecure about her breaking out, so why do you think she's using makeup on foundation? And then she didn't use makeup on foundation, you look like she's breaking out. She know that, and she's probably taking care of her skin the best way she can. And you will love asking her why she's breaking out, why she looks stressed and everything. Like, how is that even a good line? Like she wants to punch you in the face. Like, like don't, don't do it. People are just crazy in this place. Don't do it. Number four, uh, people be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Like, oh my god. Like the things that I've seen is just so bad. Like why are you just be like people be grabbing people? Like why are you just will up grabbing people, touching them? Like what are you doing? Control your hormones. Stop it. It's not cool. Like it's just like a groupie and it's just it's just horrid. Like nobody likes that. And that thing, be respectful to her. If you guys go out for drink something, don't roll up and invite all your whole friends so she can show up and be like, Am I with you? Am I with your whole friends? Like, don't try and use her to show up to your friends. Like, what is that about? Like, can you be respectful? And if you guys are talking, it's between the both of you, not between you and all your boys. So her whole matter is not in the middle of the whole of the world. Like what is that about? Honestly. <sighs> Number five. Lastly on my list. Um, lastly on my list is actually cat calling. Like that she never works. Like, so you're across the street, you see how you like whistle her. Like honestly, I'm so chick like don't do that. Like it's very intimidating. Like I wish you guys could be in our head and actually see how we feel. Like we just feel like like this sexual very big not, just, not like abusive but like you just feel violated actually one day guys you know i did actually whistle back at them i'm like since everybody whistling at each other and like being rude you get 
So I whistled back and then she just seen their face like for them to know that it's just so well and that thing it kind of makes you so self-conscious and you feel that everybody's looking at you and you just start walking funny sometimes you even trip like how has that ever worked for anybody I do not understand this number one was um no stopping her in the middle of the street to ask her she needs to get in your car no she don't want to get in your car she don't know you you might be a serial killer no number number two was um no screaming from across the road don't no screaming from her at her number she ain't gonna scream back her number like it does not happen don't do that number three don't ask her why she breaking out come be negative like she probably already feels insecure and stuff so don't do that she just feels bad like don't do it uh number four don't be disrespectful like don't use that to play games or use that to impress your friends like if you want to do that like you might as well not like what's the point don't do it um and number five is like no car calling don't be whistling at her don't be doing that as if that actually works for you people like she actually turns back i'm like so don't do that she just feels so uncomfortable and she feels like it's just bad like if you don't like for my uh, i think i've made my point clear actually for this video and I really hope that you guys learned something and girls, if you're feeling me on this one and you're trying to talk, put right down in the comments things that they should not do, hashtag don't do, do not do if you're trying to get a lady, so leave comment, leave your comments down below don't forget to so like this video, make sure you share and make sure you subscribe for more videos thank you for listening, bye